Hello fashionistas! Welcome to my YouTube channel! So for today's video, we're gonna create this high-low dress. It's a prom dress. It's my dream prom dress. So this is the inspired dress. This is the gold. I want to copy the design. So so I did. It's not similar but I did my own version. So ayan, please hit that subscribe button para updated ka sa mga video na i-upload ko. Without further ado, let's get started! So this is the materials that I'm gonna use. This is the main fabric. I choose purple instead of blue because I already gathered the materials. I have here the purple satin, crepe satin, and this one. This is a to total of like ten yards. This one is a, a cotton fabric. This just this is just a backup for like another lining inside. It's a six yard. If I need more, I, I'm just gonna get it in the store close to us. So. So let's get started. Oh, here I have two pads here, just in case we need it. So you know, here for making the pattern, I'm gonna start it from the scratch. I'll be using this packing paper, so I'm just gonna drape it in the mannequin for making a pattern. So I have here the whole piece of the packing paper. So now I'm just gonna put it here like that. Just spin it down. So for my berry waist, I always want it here. So we'll just, just cut it here. See, I already marked the line in the middle, so the clothes is like a B, something like this, something like this, something like this, and this like that, and like that. I think we got it. I fold it here, I'm just gonna make another line here. Or like a arm armhole, just like that. I'm just gonna see. Then there's a line here. So I'm gonna do that. This one's gonna be cut away. This is gonna be cut away. So this is gonna be two pieces like that. So it's gonna be like that. So here, so here is the pattern that I end up. This is folding here. This folds gonna go away. So let's try to make it in a new pattern. This guys, this is the pattern that I made. So I basically just copied the one that I did in the mannequin. So here it is. I just make it neat. So now for the back part, I'm just gonna copy the length of this side in the side seam. So I'm just gonna so my back measurement is 19. So the half of that is nine and a half. So I have here nine and a half already. So I'm just now gonna cut it. It is the final pattern that I make. So I'm just gonna cut two pieces each plus lining. Here, I already have the number one and the number two pattern. I already pin it down. This this fabric is fold in half. So, I'm just gonna cut it now. are all the pieces for the lining this is just a lining guys before i cut into the main fabric because we need to make sure it's it's the right pattern to cut so because i'm medyo mahal yung ating fabric care so let's cut into the main fabric now I decided to cut the skirt first because we're just gonna use the leftover for the top because the skirt will take so much fabric so now here it is i marked down the line this is the half circle skirt this fabric is fold in half already so i already marked the line so now i'm just gonna cut it Part will be the back part, yung long part ng skirt. The other part of the skirt, ito yung front. This is 41 inches from the point here, 41 inches. The other one, the first one that I cut is 45 inch. So now, I already marked the line. I'm just gonna connect the line for cutting. This here is 5 inch. I also marked the one is 5 inch. So this is going to be look like this. Here from the sec from the second skirt that I cut that I said it's for for the front side. So here I already cut this one is 5 inches, 5 inch. So now I'm going to add another 8, eight inch. So it's 13 inch. So I'm just going to cut it. This is going to be the waist. It looks like in the mannequin. So it's shorter here. This is the back here. So now this is the hard part when when I'm gonna drape this one. So wish me luck. For the shorter cut, I measured mine. I mine is twelve, so I'm gonna start cutting here twelve inch from here. So the rest will be hollowed. Get started. 
Oh, it's so scary. It's for now guys. I will stop right there. I'm just gonna adjust it along the way. So so now I'm gonna cut the lining. In the lining, this one I fold this in half already. So this one is the half back of the skirt. I cut them in the middle back for putting the zipper. So this is just the half of the back. So now I'm just gonna cut it. Okay, I'm just gonna pin down some. front piece of the skirt i pulled the fabric in half the lining this is two pieces lining too so now i'm gonna cut it i already pin it down everything here are the pieces of the skirt that's that is the back part and this is the front part you see they're not even because this is you know the skirt the design of the skirt so here uh, here ito na yung, this is the leftover fabric so now we're gonna cut the top so we just find a spot to put it down and pin it okay everything the right side is facing in there so this is the wrong side here. So now I'm just going to pin everything and cut it. Here are the cut pieces of the front. It's ready to sew. And this is the, the lining. I already sew it together. So it's ready. So this one, I'm just going to start connecting them together now. The pieces together, I saw it. So, so now I'm gonna connect the lining and the front. So, facing right side together, just like that. I'm gonna pin everything down and sew straight. Everything now, I'm gonna sew straight all the way. look like now so now i'm gonna top stitch everything here i'm just like now yes and this is the back i have extra here for putting zipper later and then i'm gonna cut the extra so here it is Skirt. This is, I search the middle part of the skirt in the back, in the middle back. So this is the front here. I'm going to start connecting them. This is the front, the long side of the front will connect to the other side. And this is the short one will connect to the short side here. So I'm going to sew straight both ends. In the skirt together, I use zigzag stitch instead of sewing it straight. So the design will be showing. So it's like a top stitch. So the design will be showing. For the lining, all of it, so I'm just gonna connect them together too. I'm just gonna sew straight.
already. This is the middle pa. I serge it already. And this is the raw edge. I serge it using the red thread. Here. I serge everything, the raw edge. So now, I'm gonna start pinning or clip the the pieces together, the skirt. So it's like a sandwich. This is the two lining. This is the facing the right side to get together and put the lace fabric in the middle. It's like a sandwich. So I'm just gonna pin everything down together. So it's easy to sew. Just the three pieces, the waistline, so just they stay in place. So now to the hem. I'm just gonna add some horse hair. I already pin it down. Just leave just like a one fourth inch away from the hem. Just pin down all the horse hair all the way. everything down so now I'm gonna sew straight it I'm gonna sew everything everything down and i also sew the horse hair in the other side here this one all the way so it looks like this when you flip it inside out so here so it's gonna be like this three layers skirt look like now and so i decided just gather here i just hand sew it and just gather and pin it down it's only pinned down i did not attach it yet this is what it looked like now so maybe i will gonna try to attach them together now and sew it let's see what happened let's see how it looks like on me i'm gonna try it after after sewing it together or and then maybe I'm uh, before connecting the before connecting them together let me show you that i add some boning in here i also insert the pads already as you can see i sew it in the lining the bra pads so now i'm gonna pin them together and then sew it so if you want to see if you want to i just show you guys how i put the boning in the bra, the bra pads you can you can watch my DIY 24 set you can see how i did how i did the boning or how So now I'm gonna sew straight it and then search the row edge. You can do the zigzag stitch, but I will, I will gonna use the serger, the overlock.
is now. So here, I already searched the raw edge. So now I'm gonna put on the zipper or add on the zipper. So here, for putting the zipper, I'm just gonna close the middle back. So straight here, leave some half inch like that. So straight all the way down. Down the other side of the zipper. So I'm gonna sew straight in the other side. dress i already attached the zipper so now i decided maybe i might add some strap in here just to pull it up because it's because if it, it's gonna fall, fall down anytime soon so i need to make a strap just to hold it long two to strip so now for making it i'm just gonna fold this one halfway in the middle and then fold it like that in the middle and then sew straight The strap like this, we're just gonna rip open some here. So there, so there, just like that. So I'm just gonna insert here. Then sew it back, top stitch it both side. A back strap. I'm just gonna do it like this and, and then mark it down. And then see, I'm just gonna mark it down like this. So here. So the next video will be me modeling this one. So I got nothing better than spending my day with you. My life's sunny and better. Girl, when I'm with you. Luminous around like a star in the skylights She got to looks to go to boy I need a so bad in my life Shawty where you wanna go, 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 go London, Paris, Tokyo, oh Shawty where you go Don't need no luggage, na 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 Don't need no stress, girl, na 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 Just be in your sun's alright, sun's alright, girl I want nobody but you 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 today guys, sana nag-enjoy kayo sa video na ito or sana may natutunan kayo and if you do, please like and subscribe to my channel. Go and learn something please hit the subscribe button para updated ka sa every video na i-upload ko. Bye! See you in my next video!